OK, if you remember that the last time we talked about the pre-equilibrium approximation, which I guess maybe you might have asked this two minutes ago, we were talking about a multi-step reaction where we have a reversible reaction, k1, k minus 1, so reversible, that goes to i, and then this in k2 goes to your product. So for the pre-equilibrium approximation that we assumed that k1 and k minus 1 were both a lot faster than k, or a lot bigger than k2, so that this was our slow step, and this was in fast equilibrium. But that's not always the case. So if, let's say, if I is very reactive, so then what we're saying is this intermediate is very reactive, so our concentration of I is low and constant. So what we're saying is as A goes forward, it builds a little bit of I, and I immediately reacts. So we never get any noticeable concentration of I. So this is very fast. And then so overall what we're saying is that uh, this Ford reaction, our K1, so buildup of I is a slow step. So this is going to be less than K2 uh, plus K minus 1. So basically these steps are both very fast. This forward step or is very slow. So this this K1 is our rate determining step. So what this means is that to solve this, what you do is you over set, so we're saying that I never builds up, so di dt equals zero. And then you'll solve your rate law uh, uh, in terms of this. So let's do an example. So let's see, what do I want to do? OK, here's my example. Um, I'll get started over here. I might have to end up erasing. So here's our example. If we think about the reaction of some sort of alkyl halide plus hydroxide goes to the alcohol, and then um, let's, let's propose our mechanism somewhere over here. Okay. So let's say the first step is some sort of dissociation. So here's step one. We have Rx, forward reaction, back reaction, to form the cation, plus x minus. Um, so in this case, uh, this, R plus, is going to be our intermediate, because we don't have this as a reagent in our overall reaction. Um, and then our second step, in this case, is going to be R plus, plus OH minus, K2 to ROH. OK, so far so good. Um, so let's see, how do we want to approach this? For the, for the rate constant, K2, we can find the rate law of our formation of products. It's going to be K2 times R plus times OH minus. So this is our rate. I realize that this is the fast step and not the slow step. But since we're still forming the rate of product formation, we can still say this. Um, and uh, yes, but let's th let's think about the rate constant of uh, the, or the rate of formation of this intermediate R plus. So we're saying that that's zero, right? Because we said that intermediates do not build up. Pt equals zero. But we know we can figure out all the rates that form or take away this intermediate. So this is going to be equal to formation is K1, concentration of Rx. We remove R plus if we go backwards. So minus K minus 1 R plus X minus. And then we also lose R plus in this second step. So then we will also subtract K2 R plus OH minus. And again, this is a mechanism. These are all elementary steps, which is how I know this expression applies based on the stoichiometry of each elementary step. OK, so because we're setting this accumulation or change in uh, the R plus over time to 0, we can then solve for R plus. So, so we have this guy and this guy. And then we can just rearrange our terms and solve for R plus. And we should be able to get out that R plus equals, so move both of each other side, K1 
Rx over k minus 1, x minus, plus k2, oh minus. OK? And then so our final rate expression, we substitute in our contribution of R plus into this rate law. And then so our overall rate has got to be equals K, K1, uh, K2, and then we have Rx times OH minus over K minus 1, X minus plus K2, OH minus. They got a little cut off. This is a 2, this is a one, minus 1. Okay, minus 1. There you go. Okay. So you can see this rate, rate loss rather complicated. Um, and that's from our steady state approximation. Um, this kind of form, this k1, k2 over k minus 1 plus k2, this is typical for a steady state approximation rate law. But let's talk about what this actually means for us. I'm going to go back to the other side. Let me rewrite that expression. So we said that the rate equals k1, k2, rx, oh minus over k minus 1, x minus, plus k2, oh minus. So this is our rate. So what this means is that if you think about it, this is a fraction. So we have inverse rate law in these two components potentially. So what this means is that if OH minus very small, right, then our denominator is dominated by the concentration of halide. So then our rate has going to be, we can simplify our rate to um, so yes, it, it's less than x minus. Um, we can simplify our expression to it's going to be approximately uh, first order. So if this doesn't cancel out or anything, so this will be maybe approximately k1, k2, rx, oh minus over. So. Uh, we'll kind of ignore that. Um, and then, but if, let's say our OH minus is very big, then our denominator is going to be dominated by this term, this OH minus term, which means that these two will then cancel out. So in yellow, this happens if OH minus is very big. So keep in mind, this only crosses out if under these conditions. And then our rate is going to be equal to, uh, so, K2 will divide out, OH minus will divide out, so rate 1 equals K1 times Rx. So these are kind of limiting conditions that change with different concentrations of hydroxide. So what this means is that at high concentrations of hydroxide, we are zero order in hydroxide. So that's kind of an interesting situation. So if we were to plot our rate versus concentration of hydroxide, and then we plot rate. What we'll see is, so first of all, it's first order in hydroxide at low concentrations. So it'll increase linearly. But then it'll, it'll sort of plateau out. So this is scenario two, two, where this is zero order. And then over here is scenario one, where it's first order. And then so this is how we can, might be able to have reactions that appear to change their reaction order or their rate uh, under different conditions. So again, very powerful.